Hey there everybody and welcome back to another AI tutorial, which is something I normally don't do. Uh, today we're fixing hands and stuff like that because Midjourney is not good at hands. Uh, I'm gonna use a prompt like imagine Albert Einstein raising his middle finger and I expect it's gonna do very well at doing Albert Einstein, but at trying to do the middle finger, it's not gonna work. It's gonna give like an incorrect number of, you know, fingers and all this and the hand's gonna be distorted. Uh, so we're gonna talk about how to fix that. And as these results are generating, I should just mention this video is sponsored by Squarespace. We're gonna talk about them more at the end of the video. Okay, our results are generated. We should probably take the one that is closest, uh, but let's see what we got. Uh, so this first one's not bad, except he's raising his index finger, uh, which is not his middle finger. Uh, this one definitely did a valiant effort, but the fingers are distorted. This one's the index finger. And this this one's got two hands, which is pretty cool. Um, so what we want to do is we want to pick either the one that's the closest or stylistically the best. And obviously this bottom right one, imagine they're both middle fingers, uh, takes the cake. So the hands are wrong, but we do like the style of this one. He's kind of going like, you know, super cool. Like, uh, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, item four, it goes one, two, three, four, and upscale it. Um, and then once we get a uh, 1024 by 1024 image, we are going to fix the hands. So we have our upscaled result and it somehow made the hands even worse. This one's got duplicate fingers. This one's like smeared and all this. It's, it's rough out here. So we're gonna take this image. We're gonna save it as Albert Einstein middle finger. And now uh, the secret sauce is we're gonna go over to Dolly. So we are combining methods. Midjourney for the generation, Dolly for the uh, uh, editing. So it lets you upload an image. So I'm just going to look up Albert Einstein middle finger and skip cropping since it's one by one, click okay. And here's what we're gonna do. Uh, Dolly lets you generate a prompt, but for a certain area, and it's gonna mimic the style. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, whoops, <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in use our pan tool and use the eraser tool uh, to erase the hand that is incorrect. Notice that I'm keeping the bottom of the hand because it's fine and stylistically I want it to extend the hand. So maybe I could write something like hand with middle finger raised. Now uh, what you do for your prompt of course depends. It could be giving the peace sign, whatever. Uh, but we might need to refine the prompt. Let's see what it gives us and uh, see what we have to work with. Okay, so this first one is stylistically, you know, it, it, it looks good, except again, it's the index finger. Luckily, we have a couple options. Well, there we go, still the index finger. <laughs> this one's more of a middle finger, and that one is... Uh... And what this tells me is that we need to refine our prompt, okay? It seems to kind of work, but what we're going to do is we're going to cancel. Hand with middle finger raised, flipping off that should give it more uh, context to say, uh, raise the middle finger. Okay, index finger, I don't know what that is. Middle finger, perfect, we have one that works. And this one is also middle finger and stylistically it fits a bit better. Uh, so there we go, click accept. Uh, now we have to move on to the second hand. So luckily we can give the same prompt. So I can erase this. Okay, we have an index finger, we have an index finger, we have an index finger, and we have a middle finger, thank God. And now we have Albert Einstein <laughs> flipping you off uh, two times, exactly as we wanted. And this video is brought to you by Squarespace. They are sponsoring, and if you don't know what Squarespace is, it is the best, the fastest way to make a website. You do not need to know how to code or any of this nonsense, right? You just use templates and you get a beautiful website instantly. Just drag and drop. This is how I made my website, and I am a big fan and a big user. Some features you might be interested in is one, analytics, so you can see who's going to your website, demographic type information. Two, you can embed your Twitter feed and other kinds of feeds directly in your website so you don't need to redirect because you want to keep people on your website. And three, as I already said, automatic image cropping and in general you can move these blocks around anywhere and it's super intuitive how to use it. So if this is something you're interested in, use your free trial to design your website and when you are ready to take it live and go public with your website. You can use my link in the description to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace.